Hello, this is Javier from JKI. Today I'm going to show you how to add a professional looking splash screen to your application using the SMO framework. So as you can see, I've started from a blank project. So I'm going to open the SMO editor. So once the SMO editor is ready, I'm going to create a new SMO. And as you can see, we provide various various templates and, and you can add your own templates. Uh, but for, the, for this um, example, I'm going to use the SMO UI Splash. So as you can see, the, the description, it tells you that uh, we provide a very basic splash screen uh, that includes a method that you can use to update the messages that are displayed on the screen. So I'm going to select the, the project that I have and I'm going to name this uh, my system splash and I'm going to create the SMO once the editor is finished you can see that the system splash is already in the list of SMOs available and we we can see that it was added to the project so uh, let's explore a little bit more on what what the system splash is going to do so if you open the the process VI, which is the, the main uh, the main method in, in, in an SMO, you're going to see that the, the, the template already gives you um, a banner, JKI's logo, some title, and a progress bar. And if you pay attention here at the bottom, we already have a transparent string indicator. So let me show you. Let me show you what it does, and and then I'll I'll go into details of of uh, of what's happening under the hood. So the test launcher is gonna allow me to launch and see my 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 splash screen. So let's run it. So you can see that we have a splash screen. It looks very professional, and we are displaying the message loading components. So the way that we get this message here is because there, there is in, in, there's an API method called send splash message. And the send splash message basically fires an event that we're gonna get in the process VI. So if I open the process VI here in the case structure, in the idle case, you're gonna see that I'm listening to the protected events that's the display message event. Every time that we get a new message, we're going to pass it as, as an argument to the action splash message uh, case. And if I go to the, that case, you'll see that I'm basically just displaying the message on the screen. So this is, this is how this is done under the hood. So let's, let's get creative with, with this. And you can see in the, in the test launcher, here is when I, where I send the loading components message. So for your application, what you may want to do is add different messages at different stages of the, of the loading process. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to display a different message. So after we show the UI, I'm going to want to add another message that tells the user of the application that something, something is happening. All right, always align your wires. All right, so this message is going to say um, that I'm actually starting the user interface and so that we're able to see it I'm going to add a wait in between the messages but for your real application this is this might be the time that it takes for for some of your some of your different sub components to load so I'm gonna add a wait of uh, one second and for some some applications that actually load fast Sometimes I actually like to add a a delay so that we can um, so that we can display different messages, and I, I believe it 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 
does make a difference. All right. Move this up. All right. So we're going to display the loading components message. Then we're going to wait a second, and then we're going to start. The, we're going to display the message starting UI. So let's give it a try. All right. Loading components starting UI. Perfect. So how do you stop the splash screen? So if you if you look at the test launcher, this the test launcher is very useful because it it tells you how to how to stop the application or or how to stop the, the SMO. So in this case, you have two two options. You can directly stop by calling the stop method. So this would this would effectively make the process VI stop running, or you can just hide the UI. For some applications, people find it useful to use the the splash screen as the system launcher personally i like to do it on a separate vi so there's a separate vi that is the system launcher and that system launcher basically spawns the splash screen and spawns the different components so this is how you can create a very good looking splash screen for your application and and just to to show you how you can modify the the provided template you can this is just a banner and we have a decoration around and we have we have the progress here but you can do whatever you can change it you can change the logo you can change the color to to something that makes more sense for your for your application and you can change the size so that it so that it fits your needs I hope this was useful. Make sure to connect with us on GitHub or our NI community group for the SMO framework. Also, make sure that you check Francois's webinar on how to create hardware abstraction layers using the SMO framework. You're going to learn a lot from one of the best LabVIEW architects around. Uh, have a great day.